Ecosystems provide us with benefits we depend on, such as clean air, water, food and fertile soils. They also protect us from coastal erosion and natural hazards like flooding. These ecosystem services and the benefits they provide to people are often referred to as nature-based solutions or NBS. The nature-based solutions that help people and systems adapt to the effects of climate change are called ecosystem-based adaptation or EBA. It involves restoring, protecting and managing ecosystems and their services to ensure their health and long-term effectiveness in safeguarding people and the planet. When compared to grey infrastructures, like a seawall, ecosystem-based adaptation can be a more cost-effective and resilient way to prepare for climate change. Needless to say, more needs to be done. To fully maximise the uptake and benefits of ecosystem-based adaptation and move beyond small-scale projects, it is critical to integrate EBA solutions into a country's overall climate adaptation strategy. Many countries recognise this and have included EBA as a key element in their national adaptation planning processes, or in short, NAPs. The NAP process is a strategic process that makes adaptation an integral part of a country's development planning, decision-making and budgeting. If used properly, the NAP process can help countries strengthen and scale up EBA to make people, ecosystems and economies more resilient to the impacts of climate change. But how? The NAP process can be used to identify and prioritise the role of nature in addressing climate change as a strategic goal. As NAP processes involve all vulnerable areas, they offer an important opportunity to widely integrate adaptation across all climate-sensitive sectors, including health, infrastructure, urban areas and tourism. Using the NAP process to put EBA at the forefront can drive progress in a country's sustainable development goals, contribute toward mitigation and adaptation goals under the Paris Agreement, and deliver national biodiversity goals. The NAP process also engages sub-national and local actors to ensure their participation in promoting and implementing EBA across different levels of government. By being inclusive of vulnerable groups, communities and ecosystems, the NAP process ensures adaptation investments are targeted where they are needed most. Finally, the NAP process can help access financing for adaptation and allocate it according to the country's adaptation priorities and needs, including EBA. Let's scale up EBA with national adaptation planning processes to build the resilience of ecosystems and communities in the face of this pressing climate emergency. To learn more and access our tools and resources, visit napglobalnetwork.org.